Welcome, fellow fans of Clash of Clans, to another exciting episode of of, of Clash of Clans. Uh, it's it's your host Galadon, and yes, today we are going to attempt to give a free gold pass to every single viewer of today's video, as long as you liked the video. If I can grab a three star in each of these three attacks, so stick around, follow along, don't go away. It is going to be edge of your seat, nail biting, thrilling. Clash of Clans goodness all the way through this entire video. So, hey, if you like this kind of content or maybe even other content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and be ready because, of course, I also always bring you the earliest and most accurate update information. Now, as usual, Galadon is out there using Queen Charge Hybrid, his tried and true trusty tool belts with with one attack that I pretty much always use. But yes, I love it, it is a lot of fun, and it's become habit at this point. It is something that I always do. I know if I'm gonna be attacking in Legend League, I'm using Queen Charge Hybrid, just like you should know by now. If you're gonna be making a purchase in the shop, you're gonna use a creator code, right? And yes, that's right, not just Galadon. Galadon is my favorite creator code, but remember, just make sure you use someone's creator code in that spot because it is a free gift from Supercell, 5% commission without costing you a penny that helps support hardworking content creators. Okay, here we go. So now, yes, in today's episode, we will speed up the next two attacks so you don't have to sit through the same exact stuff over and over again because we want to get down to the thrilling stuff, right? The stuff where you don't know what's going to happen and you want to make sure that everybody gets a gold pass. Now, we are getting pretty proficient with this attack and it does seem like the last couple of updates well, let's be honest, they didn't really change anything for those of us that are trying to attack using ground. It's just, you know, fine, it's let them be air dominant over there, and we will continue to use our bowlers, our pekkas, our witches, our hog riders, and our miners to grab as many three stars as we can, right? Right, who's with me? Like the video if you're with me on that one. But anyway, okay, we are grinding down this base of corpse grinder, and getting down to the point where you know it's going to be close. And that is the one common thread throughout all three of these attacks today is they come down to the wire. It is going to be crazy close on whether it's going to be 99% or a full 100% three star. So watch carefully and keep an eye on, well, keep an eye on the dark elixir at the bottom of the base, right there at six o'clock. You can notice that everybody is working their way away from it. So yeah, that is going to be the last building. Bit of a spoiler right there, but I want you guys to get this stuff right. Just like I know you want me to grab the three star in every single one of these attacks. And this is a great way to get everybody rooting for Galadon. Get ready. We are going to freeze the frame and let you decide 99 or 100. Here it comes. Get ready. Let's stop it right about here. Okay, 99 or 100 you make the call the barbarian wants okay th that's kind of awkward it looks like he's about to eat the text but okay let's resume and watch as the clock counts down we are just about to run out of time there's a minor running down there we also have the royal champion bounding over walls with no ability remaining but plenty of time to get the job done and with less than five seconds on the clock we pick up the three star let's go one third of the way there for free gold passes for every single person that leaves a like on today's video. All right, let's go with attack number two and at two X speed, we will roll through this quickly. As you can see, it is that whole lopsided, nearly maxed out Town Hall 14 base where there's so much defending power off to one side that really it's going to be a triple if you can get through the beginning, get the Town Hall, get the Expos, get the scatter shot, and then the rest should be a gimme. Although you might notice that I am spending quite a bit of time. Remember, this is at 2x speed on just focusing on keeping my queen alive. And that could cost me in the end as it will come down to the wire on time. Let's watch as everybody else rolls in. Obviously, we've got a good funnel going on. Everybody head towards the court. Don't have to worry about the town hall either. Archer Queen's still alive and she should help take out the remaining Expos and Scattershot as everybody else has gone right down the middle. The Royal Champion finally uses her ability and the time starts to count down as the damage starts to count up. Watch for it. It's going to be close. You know it. Here we go. Okay, I'm building too soon because it's going to take a little while longer. Over on the right-hand side, the Archer Queen is gone, so it's just those troops on the right-hand side that are coming down trying to finish off all of these buildings. Almost no defenses except for the single target internal, so watch out for that one. You know it's going to come down to that building right there because it is the only defense remaining. It's just about time to pause the video. Let's go ahead and stop it right about here. Okay, looks good. Now, your deductions. Is it going to be a 99 or 100% attack? The Barbarian knows, 
but do you? Everybody have their guesses in. Are we ready to resume the battle? Okay, let's let's just go ahead and finish it off. Here we go. Plenty of time left. And yes, the Inferno Tower goes down. The gold mine is going to get wiped out as well. And yeah, okay, this was a little bit of an easy one. But hey, I want to give everybody gold passes. And we're two-thirds of the way there to give everybody that left a like on today's video a free gold pass pass let's move on to the final attack of the day galadon versus mad max a fully maxed out town hall 14 base it is going to be an epic confrontation of dramatic possibilities as a fully maxed out offense faces a fully maxed out defense and once again the archer queen takes out the town hall early in the attack rendering the poison bomb harmless to the rest of the attacking forces. The Barbarian King and the Siege Barracks try to complete a funnel that's a little bit sloppy and it doesn't work out that well, but the key was getting that Town Hall out of the way. Here comes the Defending Clan Castle. Poison, Heal, Freeze, Rage, everything but the Kitchen Sink right in the middle of this base. Scatter Shots, Eagles, Inferno Towers, Archer Queens firing away, Second Star, Hero Abilities. Archer Queen still has hers and she is going to roll all the way off to the right hand side and wipe out that scatter shot. There she goes. Two thirds of the base is down with a minute and 20 left. Can we get there? Will we get through it? I know you guys want it. I want to give it away. So let's see what happens. We are trying our best. We are doing everything we can. The Archer Queen is going to survive throughout the end of this attack and she's going to be able to help out right here. Busting through those walls, taking down more defenses, protecting the remaining troops that, okay, there's like... No, okay. And so it's down to the Archer Queen and the Grand Warden and a Yeti that looks like it's going the wrong way. 25 seconds remain. It is going to be close. It is almost time to freeze the frame and let you decide what is going to be the outcome of this attack. Sub 10 seconds. Less than 5 seconds. Freeze it. Okay, here we go. Take a look around. You'll notice that we're already at 99%. The Archer Queen, the Grand Warden, can spin around and wipe out that gold mine. 99 or 100. You make the call. The Barbarian is so eager. He is bursting with excitement for a free gold pass. Let's resume the battle. The final five seconds. The Archer Queen easily spins around. The Archer... The Archer... So... All right. I, uh, um... Um... Sorry? Oh, hey, 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 don't go unliking the video. What, what, what a dislike. Oh, come on. Come on, Galafam. You made it all the way to the end. Maybe next time. For now, you know you're the true hashtag Galafam. That's why I love thinking about it. I appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there and make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to the people. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. I'm going to watch this video 500 times just so I can give it 500 dislikes.